defunct dams in Danville that are blamed for killing several people are finally coming out. But many who use the areas around the dams to fish say they're worried they won't be able to catch anything after they are removed. WCIA3's Eric Payne is with us tonight. Eric, one of those spots is in Ellsworth Park. The other is behind the public safety building. That's right. City leaders are moving toward removing them this summer. I spoke with fishermen in Ellsworth Park today who are upset because even though the city says the dams are a hazard, fishermen say it's one of their favorite spots. Uh, I really like it here. This is what I do all the time. This is Rosemary Jones. I don't do nothing but come fishing. She says she comes to this spot of Ellsworth Park every day to fish. I don't like a lot of noise, so I go fishing. It's quiet and peaceful. And the fish here are biting. Well, I don't count them, but you look at the bucket. <laughs> it's part of the reason Jones and many other fishermen don't want the dams to go. The people I talk to say they shouldn't do it because they're only going to mess up the fishing. But city leaders say the process to remove them will start this summer. That was always the plan for the dam here, with the removal of the dam behind the public safety building next. Over the past 35 years, the dams have been blamed for the deaths of at least seven people. The city decided to remove them in 2013. Well, I heard about it. At first, they said they wouldn't because they didn't have the money. The state budget impasse put things on pause, but now the money is there. For fishermen like Damon Hagen, it could be the end of family tradition. And I like the peace and quietness of fishing, and I loved it coming out here with family, going fishing. He's also worried the dam removal will mess with fishing here. They're not going to like the fact of that we're getting rid of it. I don't know what them people going to do, but I know they shouldn't move this dam because this is the only recreation around. The mayor says when the project is done, people will be able to travel the river from Danville all the way to the Wabash. We still don't know how far off that reality is, though. And we're still waiting on a date for construction for removal of those dams to start. Aaron? All right, Eric, thank you for that. Now, the state handled the bid to remove the dam behind the public safety building, so the mayor says he doesn't know exactly how much it will cost, but he says he was told it will cost much less than they thought.